Hey everybody, welcome to another review. In this video, I'll be talking about one of the most famous horror manga of all time, Uzumaki by Junji Ito. This book tells the story of Kuruzu Cho, which is a town um, that has become infected by spirals. There are spirals everywhere in this town, and people are becoming obsessed with them. And it becomes very dangerous very quickly, and all of these things are going wrong because of these mysterious spirals that are showing up everywhere, and um, you get all these different stories told from the perspective of this girl right here. Um, Kiri Gashima is her name. And you get them from the perspective of Kiri and her her boyfriend, Shuichi Saito, who um, is pretty heavily impacted by um, the spirals that are showing up in this town. Um, and a bunch of weird things happen because of the spirals. Like, uh, for example, uh, later in the story, Kiri's hair um, turns into spirals and everybody becomes obsessed with their hair because it's turning into spirals. Um, there's a section of this story that deals with two lovers that... Um, their families don't get along at all, and um, their families have become obsessed with the spirals, and their minds have become twisted by these spirals that are all over the town, and um, even the two lovers are drawn to one another um, purely out of these spirals. So the spirals in the town are very um, interesting because they're causing havoc everywhere, and yet people are just like drawn to them and they're obsessed by them and it's causing all these deaths and like grotesque situations, but nobody can seem to escape the town of Caruzucho, no matter how hard they try. Um, and by the end of the book, uh, once it gets closer to the end, it only becomes worse. Um, this story is incredibly inventive when it comes to like, some of the messed up stuff that happens because of these spirals. Junji Ito, um, there, there's a reason why he's, uh, one of the no one of the most notorious, um, uh, manga creators of all time when it comes to horror. Um, this guy's mind knows no bounds when coming up with, um, really messed up situations and, um, showing you really creepy stuff and also doing it in a way that feels realistic and um, very creative at the same time. Um, some of these images from this book have become uh, incredibly iconic and are very recognizable in pop culture. Um, like there's, uh, there's this one, for example, um, the girl with the, the spiral in her head. Um, that I see that everywhere now. And before getting into Junji Ito um, manga, um, I had no clue like what it was from. And I was like, that's weird. And then reading this, this book, um, I was like, oh, that's where that's from. So Junji Ito is kind of like a pop culture ph phenomenon at this point. Uh, most people who are into comics, whether it be Japanese comics, manga, um, or just, uh, American or European comics. Like people, people know who Junji Ito is if you're into comics, um, or anime and his legacy has kind of like, um, really driven its way into becoming, um, like a staple in pop culture. Um, this book is cool because um, it tells these really creepy, like creative stories from the perspective of just average everyday people that are going through the same stresses of life that everybody else is. But then you amplify that by the fact that there's all this abnormal paranormal stuff that um, is going on involving the spirals and you just get an absolute nightmare going on. Um, one thing about this book is like, I mean, I realize it's sort of the point, but the ending of the story is like 
pretty hopeless. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I would have liked to see like, um, like something come out of, uh, the characters stories other than what does eventually happen, which I'm not going to spoil anything. The ending just left me a little, um, not disappointed because I think it is a fitting ending. Um, it just, it left me wanting a little more. Um, other than that though, I think, you know, the art is great. Um, as I said before, some of the images that Junji Ito draws in this book have really burrowed their way into, um, pop culture and they're recognizable. Um, and the story itself, you know, the ideas that are presented in this story are very creative. Um, I don't know if, like, because this was originally um, written in Japanese, so I don't know if some stuff is just lost in translation um, after it's been translated to English. Um, some of the dialogue felt a little bit off at times, but I'm sure that that's just kind of like uh, stuff that has become lost in translation um, from Japanese to English. Um, but yeah, overall... Very cool book. Um, perfect for like, uh, I know Halloween is over now, but um, perfect for like uh, getting into like a spooky kind of mindset. Um, if you want something creepy to read, um, something that might keep you up at night, this is a good book to read. Um, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts on Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Thank you as always for watching and look forward to more videos in the future. Have a great day.